today we are going to be doing uh, some rock candy. We're going to make some rock candy and I have made a video before where we made rock candy and a lot of people hated it because I talked too much. So we're going to redo it and do it again where I talk a lot less. So let's get started. Rock candy is ridiculously easy to make. You only need two ingredients. Three if you want to get real fancy. Water and sugar. The third ingredient, if you want to get real fancy, you could go buy one of those little packets of Kool-Aid. Just dump the whole packet of Kool-Aid in a pot like this big. And then you could have different flavors like grape or strawberry or cherry, whatever you want. A few other things that you will need are um, like a, a cup that can handle hot liquid. This is a good one. It's a Turvis tumbler representing Florida. Uh, some skewers, some sort of wooden dowel. A lot of people told me to use uh, pipe cleaners in the last video. I don't like that idea because pipe cleaners are metal and fuzzy. So you could get like rust in the water or fuzz from them in your rock candy. I don't want that. Just go out and get some bamboo skewers that you would use for grilling or whatever and then your rock candy can form on this and then you got a fancy little handle to use. Now the first step though is to fill up your cup with as much water as you're going to use. So I'm going to fill this thing all the way up so that I can get the biggest rock candy I have ever made in my life. So once the, the bamboo skewer goes in there, it's gonna be like that much rock candy if I use this much water. Dump it into your pot and put it on to boil and let it come to a boil. Something else that we learned from the last rock candy video is that whatever you use, whatever you have as your, your stick for putting the rock candy on, floats. So, or it leans to the side. Last time I used a fork, didn't like it, so this time I'm using these skewers, and Jen came up with this idea of putting this cardboard here so that it stays in the center and it doesn't float up out of the way. Perfect, that way the rock candy forms all around it in the center, and it only goes on the stick, and you don't have to worry about trying to break it out, because last time I did it on a fork, and the fork got stuck to the side of the glass and it didn't work so good. We're almost to a boil. Now there is no particular amount of sugar that you're supposed to be using per, or for the size of water that you have. You just have to add the sugar and then stir until all of the, until all of the sugar is dissolved. You're making a super saturated liquid. When it's boiling and all of the sugar disappears, it's getting super saturated. So once it all disappears, just add more sugar and just keep adding sugar until there, the sugar doesn't dissolve anymore. It smells like cotton candy. It smells delicious. When you are mixing in your boiling water and your sugar into the boiling water, add in the packet of Kool-Aid or the flavoring that you want. Please be aware, this is ridiculously hot. Don't burn yourselves or anything like that if you guys are too young to be uh, handling boiling liquids on your own. Ask your parents for help. They should help you. It's a little science experiment, a little bit of fun. And also note that because we started out with two cups of water and we've put in now a whole boatload of sugar, this is more liquid than can fit in that cup. So be prepared for it to overflow a little bit. Looks about done right about there. Now turn the heat off, remove it from heat. That is our super saturated liquid. Once your super saturated liquid has not cooled down completely, but just a little bit so it's not boiling anymore, you can transfer it to your cup. We chose to do multiple cups. Right there at two good enough for me. We take, you look at how nice and sugary that is. Last step, well second to last step, add your skewer in and then the last step is you have to wait. We have to wait four days at least, but check back. We're going to check on this every single day. I promise you that we'll check on it every single day. Two cups of water and about three cups of sugar turns out to be around 
four cups of solution. If you guys are planning on making this, making rock candy for a science experiment or for a party or something like that, make sure that you plan accordingly because this is going to take around four to seven days for the sugar to come out of the super solution and recrystallize back on the bamboo skewers. Another fun idea that you guys might want to try is if you're going to do this for a party, maybe go out and get one of those popsicle trays. They sell popsicle trays at I don't know, the, the supermarket where you would just take sugar and water and flavoring and put it inside these cups and then freeze it and then it would turn into popsicles and it already has the little handles and everything in there. If it can hold a hot liquid, put your super solution in there and then you should come out with a whole bunch of little smaller versions of little rock candy popsicles. I am pretty excited to see some video responses from you guys. If you guys are making rock candy, I wanna see what kind of flavors you chose because you can do different flavor combinations using the Kool-Aid. You go out and get like a, a strawberry and a banana. I don't even know if they sell banana Kool-Aid, but if they did, mix those two together and you got a strawberry and banana rock candy. Send me a video response of you guys making rock candy and how it turned out and what flavors you used. And if you used a different kind of skewer or a different method of holding the skewer down or centering it, or if you used uh, pipe cleaners. I wanted to see if your guys' rock candy came out with rust or fuzzies inside of it. If it came out with rust or fuzzies, I probably wouldn't eat it. That's just me. Don't eat the rusty ones. Thanks for joining me for Edible Science with the Tim Tracker. Make sure you guys subscribe and check back every day for progress on the rock candy because we're gonna show it very first thing in the video, the progress of the rock candy every single day. And so scientifically, I will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.